Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. It's Rachel Ray here and today we're going to be doing a little whip and chat uh, which is where I do a little bit of diamond painting or crafting and catch you up on what's been going on in my life, what's going on in the store, and I work on something. So I'm working on the Daughter of Peace by Diamond Art Club. I'll show you. Oh, I'm sorry about that. I'll show you what it looks like. <laughs> and there's a lot more up at the top but today we're going to focus on her dress and I've already done all of the outlining which I love to do before I work on the color and I'm going to be filling in all the the dress part and maybe her hair the rest or is that her hair I don't know <laughs> well, whatever is there um, that's what we're going to be doing today check out these drills they're so pretty oh uh, now the reason I'm working on this painting, okay, bef before I talk about that, I'm sorry about the noise. That is my fan heater, and I'll tell you all about why I am <laughs> running my fan heater in a few minutes. Um, I am doing this Pocahontas painting because I have the other, you know, my Easter diamond paint along painting, Jesus Blessing. I have that in the other room. And I just did not feel like bringing it into the craft room today. I have it all set up in the living room and my husband just came home from work. He's very tired and he wants to take a nap. So we're going to let him nap and we're going to work in here today. But if you're interested in joining me on the Easter diamond paint along, there is a hashtag put it here on the screen for you. If you use this hashtag, oh, I just found a knobbly bit. Um, I'll take this out. Um, if you do want to, you know, share your progress with us, I'm doing this on Instagram. Um, you can do it on Facebook as well, but I find it easier on Instagram. I don't know about you guys, but I'm an Instagram person. <laughs> um, and anyway, I'll be following your progress, I'll be commenting on your progress, so please tag me or tag Easter Depal or both, and I'd be happy to um, to check up and see how you guys are getting on. I have been loving it so far, so keep it up everybody. Um, you don't have to do a religious painting, I know I am, but I'm doing it for my grandmother and um, by request, so you know, you can join in with whatever kind of diamond painting you want. Please don't feel like I'm excluding anybody. Um, I do know that in the in the YouTube community, the online community, there's also a Chuck along going on, which is really awesome. So does everybody know Chuck Pinson? He's an artist that is licensed by um, Diamond Art Club and currently Dreamer Designs as well. And there are a lot of people who are doing Chuck Pinson paintings right now. So that's another option. If, uh, if you don't have any spring or, you know, Easter themed diamond paintings in your stash, if you do have a Chuck Pinson, you could join along with that and that would be really fun too. Um, let's see, why was I going to tell you, what was I going to start with first? <laughs> I have so much to catch you up guys up on. Um, this is the Diamond Art Club, um, diamond tier gift of this year this we have the pink one i made a video about this you could go check it out if you like if you're a diamond tier member you get to choose your gift for this year so there are three pens available this is like an aqua or cloud i think cloud when i see that or like jello or something um and then there's this dark blue sparkly one as well they're all so pretty and they all have Diamond Art Club etched into the side. The pink one is my favorite, of course. And they named it Unicorn. <laughs> so cute. Um, and I am using, and I in the pen, inside the pen, I'm using the super sticky patty wax. Oh, I'm trying to open the wrong side, guys. Super sticky patty wax inside. Um, and to heat this up to make it easier to load in the pen, I actually just sit it between my legs. So don't tell anyone. Um, but uh, that's the warmest place, or you're, you could put it in your pocket or whatever. 
Anyway, I don't know why I just told you that. But anyway, I'm using a seven placer too. Um, where do I want to start today? Okay, well, let's see. We only have a few more weeks of Lent left. So I think, yeah, Easter is on April the 12th this year. So there isn't much time. I'm, I'm two more sections away from being completed with the top half of my Easter Depal painting, which is awesome. Not that it's a race, but I don't know. Sometimes I like to play like a little contest with myself to see if I can finish them in a certain amount of time. And I find it really fun. Um, so yeah, that's been happening. Um, sorry, I'm like a little scatterbrained today. I have been doing the mostest today. Oh, and here comes Luna. I'm going to have to shut the door. Hold on one second. Okay, she's in me, in here with me now. I guess I'll start with um, just a really quick announcement because, you know, it's, you know, it is what it is. <laughs> um, if you guys didn't know, um, if you're a, a new subscriber, hi, thank you for subscribing. I really appreciate it. Um, I have a little announcement later on in the video that I want to get to, but um, I have an Etsy shop where I sell diamond painting accessories and I have just restocked the shop. So the things that I sell, I've shown them, I showed them the last time uh, on my whip and chat last week. So I don't want to like beat a dead horse here, but um, I did just restock. So I've got butterfly cover minders and I've got them in the glow in the dark style and then I have like the pink ones and the blue ones. So please check that out if you're interested in getting cover minders, especially for those of you who live abroad like me in Europe or in, um, yeah, just away from the States because <laughs> I know that there are a lot of pen and accessory shops in the States and I do sell to the States, don't get me wrong, but um, I know that the shipping in my shop is high, but there's not much I can do about that, you guys. Like, I'm really sorry about that, but that's just the, sh the price that it is to get it from, from my door to yours. Um, if it's just really quick, if you're going to purchase from my shop and you live in the U.S., you will automatically get a tracking number. But if you don't live in the U.S. and you select standard shipping, you will not get a tracking number. And I am no longer going to be offering refunds or sending out replacements for items that get lost in the mail if you select standard shipping. Um, I've had it happen quite a few times, not very often, but enough where, you know, um, it's like operating at a loss and I can't, I can't do it. Um, I'm not a big company or anything, so I'm sorry, but it, it, it's not, um, I'm not able to take the, on that risk. If you choose the tracked, uh, option, if you live in Australia, in the UK or anything like that, then uh, your your um, package is going to be insured. And so the post office will owe you that money. Um, but once it's out of my hands, it's out of my hands and I can't do anything about it. So I apologize, but I won't be able to um, to take the, the hit any longer for the post's mistake. And so there have been a few people who I've, I've just gone ahead and sent it to them again and paid for the shipping and not charged them for the item again, but I'm not going to be able to do that anymore. I want to be able to do that, but I just can't afford it. So I'm sorry, but that's just the way it'll have to be. Um, but anyway, there's new stuff in the shop. If you are in Aussie or somewhere like that and you want to make sure that you get it and you can track it, please make sure you choose the appropriate 
option uh, when you go to select an item. Okay, that's kind of like blah, but sorry. Um, right, that's <laughs> that's my life right now. Um, so what's been going on? Um, I, the reason that you can hear that fan noise in the background is because, well, last Friday, I went to go make dinner for myself and my husband, and I realized that we had run out of gas. We have our heating and our cooking hooked up to natural gas, and many of you who have watched me for a while know that we are renting where we haven't purchased property or anything like that. Um, so unfortunately, we're not able to um, to have the the gas guys come around, you know, every few months and just top it up or whatever, um, which is an option when you own your home. So sometimes we just forget, and this time we forgot, and um, yeah. So we didn't, we haven't had heating for the last. One, two, three, four, five days. <laughs> uh, hopefully, we will have heating by the time this video goes up. Um, but I've been, it's been pretty cold. Um, thank goodness for electric heaters. And today, which is Tuesday, I locked myself into my craft room and turned this heater on. I've been in and out of the house today. Um, I've been to the post office, mailing orders, picking up stuff from my P.O. box, etc. And it's been just, I mean, it's not cold, cold outside, but, um, yeah, it feels warmer outside than it does in my house right now. <laughs> so whatever it is that it is. But, um, I, I keep telling myself every time this happens, cause it does happen like once a year. Um, I keep telling myself that'll never happen again. I will never let that happen again. And then it happens. <laughs> yeah. Oh, well, <laughs> but, um, anyway, how are you guys doing? I hope you're doing well. It's been, it's been a crazy weekend y'all. Um, I don't want to get into too much detail about it because a lot of it is none of my business to share, but I've just been worried sick this weekend. Um, and I did get good news though. I got good news about my grandfather. Um, his CT scan came back and it looks though as though his cancer has stalled. It hasn't gone into remission but it hasn't grown and that is so good because it has been growing the last few months and my grandmother and I have been, and my dad as well, we've all been kind of worried about him. And so, yeah, it's just, it's just a big relief. We can take a breath for once. Um, my grandmother is 89. She'll be 80 years old this year. And she is the one who is his primary caregiver and she drives him everywhere. She drives him to all the appointments and, you know, they, they have a specific kind of insurance where he has to travel. Um, he has to travel from the Richmond area of Virginia to the DC Fredericksburg area of Virginia for every appointment. And when he is in the thick of it, getting treatment and radiation and stuff, he's up there almost every other day. And the doctor, a long time ago, the doctors asked if they would move up. <laughs> and then they had the gall, oh my God, a few months ago, they actually had the gall to be like, you know, you could move to San Francisco and you could try this, this treatment. And he was like, why would I leave the home that I've been living in for the last 30 years or not 30 years? Sorry. When did we move in? I think we moved in in 2000 or 2001, 2001, I think. 
Anyway, we moved it. We moved in the early, early noughties. And yes, they call them the noughties here. Sorry. In the early 2000s. Um, not as in zero, zero. You know what I mean? Um, so yeah, we moved, we moved in the early, early noughties and, um, they, you know, they've been living there ever since. That's 20 years. It's 20 years. It's a long time to live in one place. Um, and it's not like he's just going to move because he has cancer. So yeah, that, that, that didn't go down very well. He was like, no, no. So yeah. Anyway, um, it's good news and I'll take it. We just found that out on Saturday night and it's fantastic. Just amazing. I'm so happy. <laughs> um, hopefully I won't have to go over to the States anytime soon because if I do, then it's bad news. Luna. What's up? Sorry. Hold on one second, guys. Okay, sorry about that. My, um, my doggo wanted some cuddles, <laughs> so I had to give them to her. Um, she's been really clingy lately, which I won't complain about, because I like it when she gets clingy. Um, it's just kind of rare for her and her breed to, to be overly affectionate, if you know what I mean. Um, some animals will will lay on you and lick you and want to be around you, but Luna's the kind that, like, she knows she's a working dog, you know what I mean? So she's always looking to you for guidance and, you know, for her next move. <laughs> so, anyhow, that is, that's kind of what's going on lately. Um, we're, we're a little bit cold, but we're happy. And, uh, and we will get through this. <laughs> uh, let's see. All right. This is, this is the part of the whip and chat that I wasn't looking forward to, but I'm going to have to, to bring it up. So if you, if you know, well, how do I put this? Last year, I decided that I wanted to make my own diamond painting retreat in Ireland. Now, I don't want anybody to get concerned, okay? I don't want to come off as alarmist or anything like that. I don't want to hear any comments of me overreacting or anything like that either. But I'm going to have to cancel the diamond painting retreat. The, the Irish diamond painting retreat, which I was going to organize and everything. Now, I have sent out an email to everyone who was on the list. So if you haven't checked your email, go check your email. But if you were not on the mailing list for updates, then I'm afraid uh, this is where I have to tell you the bad news. In Ireland, they are canceling Paddy's Day. They are canceling the Six Nations. They are postponing the Olympics, not here, but in general. Um, and there's a lot of, well, there is a lot of fear, but this isn't based on fear, my cancellation. It is based on another factor as well. I have not yet heard whether or not I am going back to my old job. I don't know when it's going to start again. If you are new here and you only just recently subscribed to my channel, you may not know this, but um, I work in a hotel, or I did. I worked in a hotel. I'm also a teacher in the summer. I teach English as a second language. And um, I do that every summer. But, and this is the other thing is that, well, I'll tell you about that in a minute. 
one thing at a time. Um, I'm going to cancel because I do not know my work status. I'm, I'm positive that they would take me back, but because I have not gone back to work yet and because it's taking so long for me to get any answers, I've decided that the most the most fair thing to do is to not get more hopes up that this retreat is going to happen. I don't want to spread misinformation or to get people's hopes up. I really just want, I wanted it to go ahead and it just looks like with a combination of what's happening over Italy and what is possibly going to happen here, I just don't want to take the risk. I don't want to put anyone in danger. And I honestly feel like it would be too last minute by the time I do get an okay. It would be too last minute for most of the people who I would love to see, you know, and, and to, to come and hang out. So this I'm saying with a heavy heart, I really wanted to go ahead and, you know, book another hotel and go through these things. But with the last few days of health warnings and things, I don't really want to risk it. And there's always going to be another time. There's always going to be, you know, another year. I think it would be more realistic for, let's say that the hotel opens in May or June. I could make plans for the next spring, say. That sounds more realistic to me. So I hope no one is upset by this news. It upsets me that people are getting sick and that travel is being affected, people's livelihoods are being affected. But again, like I said, I don't want to go into too much detail because I don't want to come off as like <laughs> some weirdo. Um, and I don't want to get people upset for, you know, I don't want to upset anyone, but I'm already upsetting or disappointing some people. And I, I do apologize for that. If, if the hotel hadn't closed and if the, you know, if the boiler hadn't broken, if the, if the hotel hadn't changed hands, if it had been open this whole time, maybe things would be different, but just due to all of the things. And then on top of that, the health warnings and everything. I don't want to risk it. I don't want to risk your health. If you are on the list and you've already booked your travel, I will absolutely meet you and spend time with you. But again, I don't want to risk anyone's health. So please don't, you know, book, book the flights and then you know what I mean? Like, don't put yourself in danger. We can always see each other again some other time, you know? Plus, you know, I think it would be really fun to go to a retreat and be a guest at a retreat. And if there are other people out there who are better at organizing than me, <laughs> um, that would be fun. I really did want to make it happen, y'all. And I do feel like I've let I've let everybody down. But I have to do what I feel is right and this feels this feels right. I don't want I don't want anyone to be ill um on my watch, you know what I mean? Those poor people who took the the cruise. <laughs> I imagine how they must feel, you know? So Anyway, guys, I'm sorry. And I'll get off that subject now. 
um, except I do want to tell you it is it is very serious it you know we've canceled we've canceled Patty's day you know what I mean um, they're telling people not to go to mass it's just it's just a bit you know it's just a bit weird um, but I'm sure we'll get through it. It's fine. I mean, it's just a cold. Um, it's a cold that doesn't have a cure that, you know, you have to really sweat it out. <laughs> Basically how I've, how I've heard it described, but, um, we're not, we're not freaking out. Um, I think part of the reason I'm not freaking out is because I'd rather be home anyway. Also, I'm unemployed out of work. I work from home. YouTube is my job now and I take it super seriously, uh, but again, I don't want to put anybody at risk. Um, yeah, so okay, I'm going to get off that subject now. If you want more information, you can email me, but um, again, if you signed up for those emails for the retreat, please check your email first. I might have already answered your question, and I'm sorry. Okay. Another thing that I'd like to talk about, and then I'll tell you about some other stuff that's going on. Um, sassy craft along y'all. Have you been keeping up with the sassy craft along? It's really fun. Um, and the, the project that I'm doing for it is the chaotic stupid is not in alignment cross stitching project project so much fun. I am so almost finished. It's going to be amazing. I got the floss a few weeks ago from Heike Stone Cold Coffee Crafts and um and it looks so good with the variegated floss. Um I wish I wish I hadn't been such a noob. I guess you got you got to start somewhere, right? Oh wow, look, we're going to change colors <laughs> for the first time. Um I wish I hadn't been such a noob, uh, because when I started the lion, I didn't do the variegation properly. I just doubled up the thread, and you can't even tell that there's two different colors. So, <laughs> um, where's the dash? Excuse me. Um, yeah, you can't tell on the lion that it's two different colors, but you can on the dragon. So I'm planning on ripping out that lion and redoing that lion. I almost finished the dragon last night and I can just, I'm so close. I can taste the finish. You know what I mean? <laughs> Anybody get like that? I always get like that. I get like that with diamond painting as well. When I can see how close I am to the end of the diamond painting, I just don't want to do anything but diamond paint until it's finished. I did that with the scarf as well. The um, cabin path shawl that I did. Oh my goodness. The last day. I was like, tomorrow's my birthday. I have to finish this. <laughs> and I did. I did, but I spent all day knitting like a mad woman. I really could have just like kept it off for like two days, but no, 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 not acceptable. That's not Rachel's rules. So yeah, silly, but yeah, true. All right, let's see. Why aren't they staying down? Stay down. They're popping. Hmm. Weird. Uh, hmm. Sassy craft along. So, um, Mrs. Coffee, crochet, Mrs. Crochet and Coffee will be putting out a video today when this video airs. So, uh, go check it out. You'll see my picture in there. And, um, and everybody else who's participating as well, you have to, the, whatever craft you're doing, it needs to have a bit of a, you know, a twist or like an adult theme or a funny saying or something like that. Something that's not, you know, cutesy or religious or whatever. I think that she's been letting in the cutesy pictures, but like nobody wants to see Jesus next to 
a bad word. <laughs> you know what I mean? But, uh, yeah. That's what the Easter decal is for. <laughs> you can send me all your religious pictures. Um, but yeah, we'll be going, we'll be doing that until the 12th. What else did I... Oh, yes, live streaming. So I'm sure that a lot of you have noticed that I haven't been live streaming lately. I don't think that my service provider cares. Um, we are looking at other service providers because it's ridiculous, the lack of service. Uh, it's got to be the router. Um, I don't want to get into too much technicality here, but like, yeah, as soon as they change the router in the house, we start having these connection problems. So I think it might be, yeah, it's too late for me to call them today. Dang it. I'll have to call them tomorrow. I suck at adulting right now. I'm really just not feeling it, but I think it's just in general, I feel like I've disconnected from people, <laughs> from being a, um, What's the word? There's a, sorry, excuse me. You're probably screaming at me. Um, there is a word I'm looking for. Productive member of society. That's what I was thinking. Um, I'm sure you were probably screaming something else. Um, I'm just going to move you so that you can see what I'm doing a little bit better. Is that better? You can see the symbols that way. I don't think you're watching what I'm doing, but just in case. Um... Yeah, I haven't really felt like adulting at all lately. But I'll get there. I'll get there. I go through these moods where I'm like super organized. But then I go through moments where I organize the wrong thing. I spend time doing things that don't necessarily need to be done. But in my head, they need to be done. Yep, yep, yep. Don't worry. I'll get there. I'll get there eventually. Uh, let's see. Oh, yeah. I was talking about live streaming. Sorry. Um, I will be having a Patreon only uh, live stream this Friday. So from 9 a.m. GMT, which is early o'clock <laughs> in the U.S., but um, I think it's like 3 a.m., 2, 3 a.m., something like that, um, in some parts, and um, yeah, it should be fun. I mean, if you're not a late person, that's okay, too. You can always catch it on the replay for my patrons, but it's mostly, I just really want to try it out and see if it works. If you haven't joined my Patreon, I'll have the link. I have it down below. Um, it's where you can get access to member-only posts and updates. You get the first access to shop items. You know when they, when they come out first so that you get first dibs. Um, you'll also get a weekly video just for you and behind the scenes type stuff. I also have a random winner every month. I, ch I choose them from a number generator and that person will get a diamond painting from my stash. They get to choose as well. So I give them a few options and they get to choose. And um, it's a fun place. Um, I like I like it a lot because I can share pictures and it's a small group of us. Um, and yeah, I just love, I love that there are people out there willing to help support the channel and, um, and they want to be part of this group and it just, yeah, it makes me really happy. So thank you all so much. If you're a patron of mine, you also get the credit at the end of my videos, which I love to give. And, um, yeah, that's, that's it for now. They, the, the perks of, of having a Patreon means that I get to use that money to upgrade my equipment and stuff. 
So like I said, this month's splurge is going to be a microphone that I will use for, because the, the one that I bought was crap. It was only 20 pounds and it really doesn't really do much. That's why I don't use it anymore. But the one that I'm thinking of getting is fab and I've kind of looked at a few and I think, I think I've chosen what I want. Um, but yeah, little baby steps. We will get there eventually. I want to do the stories again because I don't mind being that person that puts you to sleep. <laughs> if that's what it takes, that's what it takes. It doesn't bother me at all. I would rather you feel comfortable and safe and and calm than um, than all anxious and stuff. So, yeah, listening listening to certain people really helps me as well. And I know that like some of my videos will not be that style. Like my floss tube, for example, <laughs> I get too excited with cross stitching. So if you're looking to fall asleep, don't watch those videos. <laughs> They're just too hyper, too excitable. So you've been warned. But yeah, I'm really loving loving crafting all the time, loving, you know, making videos and um and diamond painting and, you know, it's just been it's been an interesting few months that I will say on the one hand it feels like it hasn't been that long since I stopped work but I stopped working in December at the no at the beginning of January I'm sorry and that was just crazy you know like all of a sudden just being without a job but lucky for me you know this is Ireland and they have have social welfare so I, we're okay we're still we're still getting a paycheck and um we can still get food and pay for our rent and stuff you know what I mean I don't know what I would do if I didn't live here and that had happened to me you know what I mean but it, there's no point in thinking about that because that's not my situation there are a lot of people out there that that are worse off and I recognize that I do feel very lucky um so yeah where are we 40 minutes that's all I feel like I've been talking your ear off um let me think what do I want to tell you about what has happened lately that's funny or interesting um, hmm, my husband is talking to someone. <laughs> Sorry if you can hear him. Um, give me two seconds. I'm going to go see what's going on and, um, and I'll be right back. Thank you to everyone who donated to Seal Rescue Ireland. We did go over 500 euros, so we're able to sponsor a kennel for the seals over at their, their rescue center. I will give you more up-to-date details on my Facebook and Instagram very soon, but I thank you all very much for your interest and for helping out the seals. We really appreciate it. Oh yeah, duh. <laughs> Sorry, I went out to see what was going on, and uh, and then I remembered exactly what I wanted to tell you about. Luna's back with me, by the way. Um, also, just I've um, I've just had a few cookies from. Linda's care package. Thank you, Linda. Linda's 144 hobbies. She's a patron of mine. She sent me a box a few months ago and um, <laughs> I'm still eating the goodies. So thank you so much. I'm going to have a cup of tea, green tea with berry and, um, and finish this women chat with you guys. So if, if you've been watching, um, for a little while and you're not brand new here. Um, I'm about to hit 10,000 subscribers and that's kind of crazy cool. Um, I don't, I, I, I'm just like, what? <laughs> 
but yeah, so that is really exciting. And honestly, I didn't really think that there would be 10,000 people who would ever know who I am <laughs> or, and sometimes it makes me feel a bit like, what, what am I doing? I'm not going to lie. But, um, as long as you guys are enjoying yourselves, I mean, stick around. Why not? Um, so I would, I would really like to do something special when I hit 10,000. I was approached by Diamond Art Club and they're going to be giving five $50 gift cards. I'm flabbergasted. I did not ask for anything from Diamond Heart Club um, because they already do so much for, for me um, and the group, Crafters Anonymous, which if you're not a member of, please go join us. We'd love to have you. It's, um, it's Mrs. Coffee's group, but we, we work it together. We do, we do the group together because, well, I never wanted a Facebook group. <laughs> and when she invited me to be a part of her group or to partner up with her, I was just like, well, this is much easier. Yes, please. Um, and she's fantastic and she's like my best friend. So yeah, why not? Um, but anyhow, the, that's going to be the giveaway. It's going to happen soon. And I won't, I won't have it in the, I won't have a video dedicated for it, you know, announcing it to the world because I don't really, I don't really work that way. Um, I want people who watch my videos to, to be able to, I don't know what the word is. <laughs> Sorry. I struggle with words these days. Brain fog. <laughs> um, I want the people who watch my videos to be able to be the ones that win. And people who just come in randomly and decide to subscribe because I'm about to have a giveaway. I don't re I don't really understand that. I mean, I understand the lo the logic of it, I guess, but like I I would rather have someone who's been here for a while who who um wants to watch my videos and who likes to watch to to win so uh, stay tuned it will probably be in a whip and chat because um those are my most watched videos and i'm going to give you the most you know the most chance to win so just look out for that it'll be in the next few weeks actually <laughs> um crazy so yeah, I'm really, I'm really excited about that. All right, that's all the pluses in that little section. Um, and yeah, so let me tell you about the week, what, what's going to be happening in the next week or two. Um, actually I have my thing over there, my little calendar. Let me look. So I've started to write out because I'm getting ahead, you guys, and I've never been ahead before. Okay. Um, sorry about Mail Hall Monday this week. So I was supposed to have a Mail Hall Monday video, and then there was a there was a bit of a glitch. Um, the company whose whose diamond painting it was, their websites were down. So I don't know. Anything could have happened. But they, they said that it was just a, a website error. So I will have that video ready for next Monday. Unless the website still doesn't work. I don't know. What do you think? Do you think I should post it even if the website doesn't work? I don't know. I don't know how to feel about it. Please let me know what you think. Would you still want to see a canvas from a company that you potentially couldn't buy from? I don't know. I mean... Who knows? Um, what else do we have going on? Oh, tomorrow we have a patty wax video. So you've seen me using patty wax in this pen all night, or this whole whip and chat, and I haven't had to 
to fill it up. Yes, I'm using pink wax in my multi-placer, but I prefer pink wax in the multi-placer. Um, but I'm using the super sticky in the single placer and it's fabuloso, loving it. I don't mind the, the normal patty wax as well. I, I really enjoy patty wax period, but the super sticky formula is, is actually awesome. I do, I do like it. I like the sound, you know, that smack is, is so satisfying. <laughs> um, but anyway, I'll have a, I'll have a full video and an unboxing of the tin and everything. So have a look out for that. That'll be coming up. Um, also there were a lot of you who wanted to see the video of me driving through the Irish countryside. So that is coming up on Friday. Um, I'll also be thanking a subscriber for her very generous gift. And then on Saturday, I will release floss tube where I talk all things cross stitching and I should have lots of updates. Lots and lots of updates because I've had a lot of time to sit in front of the fire the past few days. <laughs> uh, thanks to a combination of Irish weather and not having heating in my house. <laughs> uh, and let's see, next week, I have to be careful and not lick my finger. Do you know how annoying that is? Okay, because I'm so used to it. Oh yes, next week we're going to have a flip through of the World of Cross Stitching magazine. And, oh, I have something really exciting. Um, I found, oh, I just realized I missed a bunch of symbols there. I found a scratch art book. I found a scratch art book and I found a coloring book. And y'all, like, okay, I like coloring. I don't do it very often, but I do find it enjoyable. Um, but I, <laughs> let me just show you. It's easier for me to just show you. Okay. Are you ready for this? <laughs> okay. Let me move this over here so you don't get it. But yeah. Um, scratch art. Look at him. So this is scratch art llamas. Scratch to reveal rainbow magic. Plus a fun story to complete. So... It was so cute. I could not resist. Um, and I think I'm going to share this on my, on my channel. And I'm thinking about having a llama day because I also found this. <laughs> this is the most majestic llama. It has, well, first of all, there's like glitter on the cover. You can't see it. I can feel it. Um, the flowers have this glitter and inside there are pastel markers and this little glitter glue. But then inside there's an actual coloring book and there's all kinds of different designs in it. Uh, some to be to do with llamas and then some that are just like flowers and stuff very different bugs but very cute and so um, I'd like to do a video on those llama finds because you all know how much I love llamas and pega llama corns <laughs> um, and then I'll have the regular videos as well so next week is gonna be fun I'm gonna have a sip of tea Stay hydrated, everybody. Ooh, that's good tea. Oh, instant warmth. <laughs> um, so yeah, there's, there's lots going on at the minute in my little world, but nothing like 
nothing that I want to share and make anybody worried about, you know? And I don't want to bring anybody down either. Do you know what I mean? So with that being said, um, I do want to say thank you for, you know, coming back to the channel every week. And I hope that you all stay nice and warm and well and, you know, don't, you know, don't, don't touch your face when you're out in public. <laughs> That's all I want to say. Um, I'm going to stay in and stay crafting. Oh, excuse me. Um... I think my nose is running because it's either because the camera's on or because um, it's cold. It's not cold in, in this room, but whenever I leave this room, it's absolutely freezing. I have to, had the humidifier on for like two days straight. It's crazy. Oh, yeah. Um, congratulations to the, the group in the group. We hit 3,000 members in the group and um, Diamond Art Club threw this little giveaway for us. And um, I, I chose the winners uh, last night and that was so much fun, Monday night. Um, sorry, I have a little piece of something on my canvas. I think that's paper. Um, so yeah, that was super duper exciting and um, I just love it when when we have a giveaway and there's so many entries. <laughs> there was almost 1,000 entries. It was crazy. It was an insane weekend, you all. Not that I, not that I dislike it, but just that, you know, it's a, it's a lot. So please don't feel um, upset if I didn't like your comments. I've, I've been getting I've been getting behind. Oh, oh, there is something I wanted to tell you. So last week sometime, I think it was early last week or at the end of the week before, something happened with YouTube. And suddenly I had all of these comments, which were previously okay. All of them got held for review. I think it had something to do with the, um, with the updates that they're doing. But if you, if I didn't heart your comment or something, please don't feel offended. I, whenever I read a comment, I'll heart it um, unless I perceive it to be rude. And in that case, you know, I think I have the right to not. <laughs> but um, anyway, I have been, you know, had been wondering like where are my comments and then all of a sudden I got on my computer because I usually use my phone for everything let's be honest um my computer is super slow so I use my phone and um oh my god I had 900 and like 60 something comments held for, for review I was like what is happening because a few days before that when I was on the computer there were none so yeah, I apologize if I missed your comment. I went through and I selected them all um, in the, whatchamacallit, mm -hmm. and approved them, but uh, I don't think I went back and, and hearted all of them because it was just like, oh my gosh, what is happening? Um, so yeah, I don't, I wouldn't do that on purpose. Y'all know that, I hope. <laughs> Yeah, that was, that was so weird. YouTube has been acting kind of strange lately, but anyway, I won't complain too much. I am thinking that for the 10,000 subscriber milestone that I might do a super live, a, a super long live stream, but only if, only if my internet will not act up. Because it would be kind of fun to just chill for a day and do a live stream. But with my internet the way that it is, I don't know if I trust it, you know? So let me know if you'd be interested in that as well. Oh, I missed a few. Oops, of course I did. <laughs> Down here at the bottom. 
Come on. I always miss some. <laughs> you know, it wouldn't be it wouldn't be my kind of diamond painting if I didn't. So yeah, I'm I'm really enjoying this painting. I wish I had more time to work on it. I did spend about two hours on this before I started recording. So I finished the I'll just move you real quick. So I finished the section that we were working on last time, which was this section here. Um, I had worked on it only in the whip and chats. I hadn't worked on it on its own. So just so that you know, like full disclosure, I haven't been working on this um, off the clock except for today. I just really wanted to get it done. Uh, and I was listening to Diamond Painting Queen, and I listened to oh, Anxiety Art Adventures, and Jesse at Mislaid Pages, and I think I watched Mrs. Coffee's video on the Visu Arts as well. That came out while I was <laughs> while I was working, and yeah, it's just been a really productive productive day today for this painting but as soon as I finish with you guys see that AB oh I love these AB drills they're so pretty um as soon as I finish with this whip and chat this is going to be put away again um and then I'll go right back into the um diamond painting with Jesus <laughs> um I might even just you know what, I'll put in a progress picture of the Jesus blessing. Did I put it in already? I may have. If I didn't put it in already, I'll put it at the end. But I think I put, I think I put one in. Um, one thing about this painting that I will show you. Let me move this stuff out of the way. <laughs> now, I don't know if you know this, but this particular diamond painting was... One of the originals, uh, the original batch, I got the first one. <laughs> um, I got the first one, and there is a little bit of popping. Uh, it, it's almost like the drills, they're not like, they're not being pressed upward, but they aren't necessarily lying 100% flat. And I think that if I roll them, it'll be fine. But I just wanted to let you know that if you do get this particular kit now, because they did bring it back, if you purchase this kit now, you shouldn't have any drill issues. It'll have the new drills. But if you do have one of the ones that are like mine, I have found that you just need to you just need to rub them in. If it if it's still not laying down a hundred percent, I'm trying to find one right now then it might be that you need to um, to replace it. So rubbing back and forth does help, or you can use a rolling pin, whatever you'd like to do. But it's not too bad. Um, it's actually, it's actually pretty flat, to be honest. I think the worst is the, the black drills, but again, if you haven't purchased this one, it's not a problem. And if you do have, the first batch of this painting. Contact Diamond Art Club um, if you're not happy and j if you're, you know, just don't be rude about it, but I'm sure that they'd be happy to help, you know? This is such a beautiful painting. I would hate for someone to not get it um, for fear, you know, fear that the diamonds might not fit or something. Honestly, if I was having a lot of trouble with it, I would let you know. But, um, yeah, that's, that's it, guys. I have really enjoyed working on her as well. Um, you guys know that Manny Manzano is one of my favorite artists of all time. Um, I, I'm just going to talk to you now. So, actually, I'll, I'll let you stare at her beautiful face while we're talking. Um, or would you rather look outside? Hold on. <laughs> look, the sun came out. Isn't that amazing? It was such a great day today, and now it's beautiful, and the daffodils are out. And then over there, you can't really see it, 
but just just behind that fairy right there is a little stick coming out of the ground and that is my cherry blossom tree um, it's super calm and I thought it was supposed to be awful so I'm pleasantly surprised um, so yeah, I have purchased a few more diamond paintings from different companies. I'm expecting to get a Treasure Studios art eventually, but you guys, if you follow um, channels like Diamond Art Addiction, JMTJ Crafts with Jeremy, Patriotic Beauty, um, you might know that Treasure Studios Arts Factory has been delayed, like all of their orders have been delayed a bit. So hopefully um, those will go out soon and I'm really looking forward to it because I got something really special. <laughs> I got two special things. One, both of them are for other people, but one of them I get to open for you. And um, yeah, I'm just, I'm excited to share that with you. I think things are going to get a bit busy soon in my personal life because we will be doing a lot of gardening soon and I love gardening. Um, so maybe I'll do like a little garden vlog. I don't know. Would you, would you enjoy that? Um, yeah, I think that would be fun. Right now I'm just kind of like chilling with all the crafts. <laughs> All right, I'm going to move this down so you're not looking at those silly cars and stuff. So yeah, that is the crack, as they say here in Ireland. Luna says hi. And um, yeah, please keep in touch. If you haven't subscribed and you like diamond painting or cross stitching or knitting or Ireland, <laughs> um, please consider subscribing and don't forget to ring the bell to be notified whenever I upload a new video or if I go live, um, when I post to the community wall, that'll notify you. So um, please do that. And if you did like this video, consider leaving me a thumbs up or a thumbs down and leave me a comment down below and let me know how you're doing this week. I hope everybody's doing okay. And uh, hopefully we'll be able to do another live really soon. Let me know what you think about a longer live. Like, I'm talking like a six-hour live. <laughs> what do you think? <laughs> um, and it's not just for you, Kaya. I love you, girl. All right, guys. Thank you all very much for watching this video. And I'll see you all in the next one. Take care, guys. Bye.